an expert and founder of bourbonblog.com, Tom Fisher joins me now. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me in. Well, I'll be the first to tell you I know very little about bourbon, so <laughs> I hope you can give me a little information about it. First of all, how did you get involved in bourbon? Well, I, I've always been a bourbon fan. I'm from the Indiana, Kentucky region right there on the border. That but makes with, more sense. Yeah, with bourbonblog.com, though, I was, uh, I was working for actually out west, out here, um, not too far away, Idaho, and in California, working for the original Marianne from Gilligan's Island, Dawn Wells. Wow. I helped her start a film festival. Got really interested in film, and then I said I want to do a documentary on something, so I picked bourbon, and then I built bourbonblog.com. When not a lot of people were talking about bourbon, I was writing about it, doing interviews with distillers, and now here we are about 12 or 13 years later, as bourbon's gotten really hot. Okay, we don't have a whole lot of time, but I want you right. to <laughs> give our uh, viewers a brief uh, description. How do you make bourbon? How do you make it? Well, uh, bourbon is a type of whiskey. Uh, it is distilled from grain. Okay. For in bourbon, it's at least 51% corn, has to be made in the U.S., goes into a new charred oak barrel. You can only use that barrel once, and then a lot of them are sent to Scotland to make scotch. Um, and then when it comes out of the barrel, the only thing you can put into it is water to proof it down. There's a bourbon being made right now in every state in the U.S. A lot of it does come from Kentucky, but it can be made anywhere in the U.S. I think that's, those are the, the basics, and, and it comes out tasting delicious just like this. This is a barrel-proof bourbon that's uh, called Bullet, and um, this one's a special one. You can only find the barrel-proof version in Kentucky, but uh, I go all around the country and the world hosting tastings, educating people on it, and you that's said, what I'm out here doing. You said you have a nonprofit, correct? I do, yes, that's what I'm wearing. This is the Whiskey Sommelier uh, Medallion. I started a new Whiskey Sommelier School, the first ever Whiskey Sommelier School. Wow. People ask me for years, is there a Whiskey Sommelier program? So I partnered with a really great school in Austin, Texas called the Wizard Academy to start the first one. WhiskeyMarketing.org, in case you want to check it out. And come, you can come join us. Come be a Whiskey Sommelier. Then you'd be wearing this with, like, with me. Well, I will try my best, although I don't, <laughs> I, I'm learning right now, guys. But, okay, now, uh, what brings you to the Coachella Valley? So, yes, so I'm great. It's so great to be here. I'm hosting a private tasting tomorrow. Um, but you might see me out and about. You might even see me at the Ace having a yeah. whiskey. It could happen. Um, but I, I host tastings all around the world. So um, more information on that on bourbonblog.com. And I just I like to educate, like to entertain, and I'm glad that my job keeps me uh, drinking some tasty stuff and meeting great new people all over. Sounds like a pretty good job to have. It is, and it's great even when it's not Bourbon Month. This is Bourbon Month, so we can talk a lot about it. But every month for us is. It happens to be a bourbon month. And it's been a good night on I Am A Desert. You gotta do this every Tuesday. It's, what I'm, it's Tuesday, right? Yes. Do, you should do alcohol every Tuesday. Well, That's I'll, my I'll suggestion talk to my for producer, it. my news director, <laughs> and we'll see how that goes. But there is a little more information. Thank uh, you. you. can visit uh, uh, Tom's uh, website, actually, is bourbonblog.com. That's it. And uh, definitely check it out. I just checked it out right before we went on air. And it's Thanks, Jeff. Pretty sweet. Thanks for having me. Yeah. It's Thanks been a lot of fun. Yeah, it was, fun. It was a fun you. night. Well, we'll have some final notes coming up right after the break. Thanks. For those who died in the Vietnam War, the greatest tribute is to see them